Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with the tutorial for the pseudo randomizer. And I thought I wasn't going to do a tutorial, but I guess by popular demand, here it is. It's actually not that complicated, and I guess if you're watching this, you might, um, yeah, learn some interesting stuff. First off, um, this is a latch, and it might seem weird, but as soon as I activate it, this, it stays on and by cutting off the power I turn it back off. Um, I'm gonna make a uh, randomizer that has six outputs. I will try and color code where needed. But basically we're gonna get three of these ledges next to each other. And then on the other side we're gonna get another three ledges. And make sure to face the repeaters one tick to the inside. and then redstone on top. Now, once you've done that, what we are going to do is we're going to place blocks on top of all of these, cutting it off, and Two blocks above, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little frame. Oh. And this, this frame is needed for uh, the pistons I'm going to place in a moment. So that's one block to the side. And you place your lever here. Then what you'll get is one tick, one tick, two tick, two tick, and then redstone dust pretty much everywhere. And this is the timing that's needed for uh, these pistons. Just be sure to face them down. So just above the blocks we just placed, pretty much. Now, just retract all the blocks for a moment, then let's actually extend, that makes it easier. Um, what we're going to get is we're going to get a clock here. I'm, I'm, like, I'm under the impression I'm using a lot of lapis here, but again, emphasizing that this is actually not that complicated. Okay, so you have your clock here now, just running in a circle. Um, six repeaters, because I've got six outputs. And say I were to activate this latch now, with the current timing, if I activate this, what we get is the clock starts running. And if you look from above, you get, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you get the dot just circling around like that. And now, you might be thinking, this is done, but the weird thing, as soon as I activate it now, Okay, that's weird. Okay, now we have one signal, so that works. But occasionally, when you do this, it it doubles the signal. Um, so it actually increases the size of the signal, size of the signal, and uh, it derps up. On some locations, it doesn't, but like here, now now it does. There is a very simple solution to fix this, and it's actually. When you see it, you're going to be like, uh-huh. <laughs> but I've got two signals, and all I have to do is I have to use one signal to deactivate the other signal. That's basically <laughs> that's basically all you have to do. So uh, what we're going to do now is what I just built from the side. So up like that, and then diagonally. That's what we're going to do for all of these. So again, up. I think it's going to be a, a lapis only build <laughs> by the looks of it. Now I just lost my signal, doesn't really matter though, we'll uh, add a new one in a moment. Um, actually I was still have to do this one. And now here, what you will get is the following. You will also send this one up. Um, but instead of going there, you're going to go here. You're going to 
turn off the rain because it's annoying. So I'm basically going around the corner and yeah, it's actually good enough already. We get a line of redstone heading into that block, activating this piston. So it's still the same principles here, but now we're just doing it around the corner. And then here we were already working on something. One more block. Um, it's going to punch down the, the piston as soon as you place the torch, because it, it when you place a torch it's always on at first like here you should see a, sm a small a small pulse and then just do this all the way around again and then here we have to do again what we just did with the block going around the corner and then sending the signal into that piston to deactivate it so now we put a signal in one of them and as you can see it already extends the piston right next to it. So now if I were to uh, activate it the thing will start running again and as soon as I deactivate it I will have one pulse and even if I have two pulses it's going to delete one of them. So I have one pulse. Now uh, this already gives you the six necessary signals and then we should move on to uh, yeah, going to the outputs. So output wise you can already draw three outputs from here. Let's place some repeaters on top of this and this one's activated so that should be powered. Um, now for the other three on the other side what you're gonna get is a repeater into a block with redstone below so that's gonna get powered then I'm actually changing my uh, original design here I don't know, I'm just building this from my head so um, you're gonna need the repeater here else that's gonna interfere with uh, the repeater there which is what we have so far then you can get some redstone dust here and then a repeater, so that's the output for this one now we're gonna repeat the same process but it might get a bit um, yeah, might get a bit messy. Block and block with redstone dust. Then like that. Then we have to manipulate or move ourselves in there somehow. I guess walking like this is the best option. Um, block, block. Torch. Uh, then block here with a repeater. Then another block, then we move to the other side. Redstone dust is going to be interfering so make sure to place a block there. Redstone dust here and then you have your out. If I could place redstone dust there you'd have your output. Um, yeah we'll fix that later, that's fine. There we go. And for the last one, again, repeat the same process. So, block, block above, redstone dust, then repeater into the block. So now this dust should be powered, and it is. Then block that off, torch. That leads into. Oh. That leads into repeater. Now I'm here, so I'm guessing that this is actually better way to uh, fix the issues of not pay being able to reach it, so like that. Uh, another block and then a repeater here. So now we have one output and then brings us to uh, the issue of uh, yeah, reading the output. And I think I've really diverted from my original design now, but yeah, doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, oh. Basically, this row of blocks allows for uh, these lamps and stuff to get activated, and I actually want to 
pull these back at command. So that means placing downward facing pistons like this. And then there's the matter of uh, powering these at the right time. Now I'm going to get a couple circuits. Uh, you are going to get again just checking how it goes now. Uh, four tick, four tick, four tick. And I guess I should just do it like that. And then have a torch here. So that activates everything. Um, and this basically allows for the thing to get red. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm like thinking now, can I place these pistons closer? But they'll get, they'll get interfere with that one. Um, so now, this should actually already work. So this thing is spinning like crazy, and then I stop it, and you get an output. What do you know? Just testing now so that it works. Yeah, it seems pretty pretty darn good. So yeah, just a sort of a minor adjustment. Um, now in the in the rare event that instead of having uh, uh, five outputs you only want one output, uh, sorry, instead of six you want five outputs, which is a possibility. Uh, what you do is you uh, knock off some stuff. Well, that's actually going to interfere. That's sort of a bummer. Um, yeah. Just do it like this. It's fine. We'll just flip this stuff around, do it the other way around to create some space. So this still remains the same. Um, I cut this one off now, so I just completely remove this stuff. So now the entire row underneath the, the lever I am removing. And that means that um, this latch is actually completely useless. That means also means that you have to replace this repeater with a uh, redstone dust. You can also remove this piston, you can remove this piston, you can actually just put dust there like that. And then the um, this is completely irrelevant. And this signal that was normally used to activate this piston is now used to activate the piston next to it. So now I have five outputs and the whole thing should still work. So it stops and it gives one output again number three and it's random and like I've said before uh, already many times it's the human factor controls this so don't hook this up to a clock allow the player to stop the clock and you get a different output and the chance of one output going is just as big as the other output is going so compact simple design, I hope this tutorial helps uh, understand how it works. Um, yeah, I guess I maybe should slow, like go a bit into what happens when I activate this thing. Um, basically the moment, um, the moment there's a block here, this redstone dust is going to activate this repeater and then Immediately after that, this piston comes down and cuts off the the circle, the uh, the latch, and then uh, on the way back, actually the reverse thing happens. Um, the latch actually gets activated uh, by a signal traveling from here down this redstone into the repeater, and then after that, this piston retracts, just keeping it there. And even though there is maybe two latches activated, one of the latches activates the next one, leaving only one latch. But as you experiment with this, you will, uh, yeah, you'll get the general idea of how it works. So that sums up this tutorial. Um, it, yeah, 
has been done at late at night and uh, yeah I've done it in one go so I <laughs> apologize if I might have been fast at some points but um, yeah I'm sort of hoping that uh, you guys manage to make this work and uh, in survival and uh, yeah that you understand how it works now so thank you for watching and uh, yeah we'll see you all later bye bye